Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Tangal. This is a free indie horror game that I found on Itch.io. If you'd like to download it for yourself, there's a link in the description. It was a student project made over the course of 10 weeks for a video game development course. It's about 15 to 20 minutes long, and it is centered around Filipino folklore, specifically the monster, the Mananangal which is the Filipino version of a vampire, basically. They're blood-sucking monsters, they're afraid of garlic, very vampire-y stuff. And we've previously seen a Mananangal in a game called Nightfall Escape that I played a couple years ago. Some of you may remember it if you were around back then, but most of you probably weren't, so you're gonna have to look it up. That's fine. Let's go ahead and get into a game. Play a game. I'm hoping this one will be good. I've been wanting to take Vanessa to the Philippines for a long time now. It's the country where my father grew up, and it seemed only right that my wife should see it as well. I just wish it had gone differently. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. I'm heading out for a bit. Heading out for a bit. I'll be back soon. I'll be back soon. Sure, honey. Sure. See honey. you later. See you later. I love you. I love you. Love you too. Love you too. I guess this was last time they saw each other. When she didn't come back, I went looking for her. But so my sad. flashlight stopped working, and before I knew it, the ground gave way. Wait, what? Hmm. Shit. Uh, how long was I out? Shit. There's no way I'm getting back up the way I came, is there? I mean, it doesn't look that difficult. So, all of a sudden... Your flashlight stopped working, and next thing you know, you're in a cave, or about to go into a cave. Here's the flashlight that doesn't work. Let's go ahead and pick it up and take it with us. I have a funny feeling it's going to start working. You know, I think I'd rather take my chances God, with the rock climbing. Spaces. You hate tight spaces. Well, that's great. Then go into this dank-ass cave. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it works. Let's go this way. Never mind. I guess we'll go this way. That's that's fine. I wanted to go this way all along. Great. I need more batteries. I see. So that's what the problem was. It didn't just stop Is working. That an elevator? Could be my way out. What are you talking? Where? Way back there? Are you wearing glasses, girl? Because you've got 20-20 vision. Maybe some stuff down here still works. Like these batteries sitting on a table. Ah, there we go. So That's kind of odd. I'm reloading the batteries. There we go. Now we can see. Although we can see even without the flashlight. Uh, I'm not one for keeping it. What was that? What? What did you... I'm trying to read this note! I'm not one for keeping a journal, but I feel like if I don't write this down, it's gonna gnaw on me for the rest of the week. There's something down here with us. I'm sure of it. At first I thought it was just the bats, but I've never seen bats that big before. What, you mean human-sized? <laughs> yeah, they don't usually get that big. Maybe all the extra hours I signed up for have started getting to me. I haven't told the others yet. I don't want the boss to fire me for starting trouble. Hmm. And then you just left this note right here. It needs fuel. Make sure the fuel tank is attached properly before starting the generator. Thank you very much. What is this? So there's a map. So we're over there. Can you guys see the dot? Okay. I have it set to not record the cursor, so sometimes I'm not sure. Uh, let's go look for... Fuel, I guess. What are the chances that her and her wife both ended up in the same dank-ass cave in the middle of nowhere? What did I just find? Ah, that feels much better. What, lighting the candles? What is that? The Mananangal? Mananangal. My grandma used to tell me stories about that thing. Probably just graffiti, right? Why do you have the flashlight on after you lit the candles? That's a waste. 
Uh, let's read this. I never wanted to believe in you and those like you. If I did, how could I ever hope to be safe again? But now, after what I've seen, I have no choice. Alejandro says that you are real, and I believe him. He also says that we need to show you respect, and that is what I intend to do. Uh, I mean, the Mononongal maybe can't read? I don't want to call his literacy into question, but it's just a thought. Maybe it can't Why read. Why is it so heavy? Probably because it's filled with gasoline. Have you never carried a gas can filled with gasoline before? Usually they're pretty heavy. Let's uh, let's put it on the thing. Thank you. Gasoline. It did it. Check it out. Ooh. I heard something. Could it be the Mononongal? I already forgot how they. Shit. That looks like it crawling around on the ground. She took it pretty well, though. E to interact. Use the mouse to rotate the object. Ah, okay, so it's a headlight. Oh, broken headlamp. Must have belonged to one of the miners. It looks like it was used a lot. Neat. I mean, if it's down here, probably it was used a lot. If it's broken. Must have gotten broken somehow. I wonder where these cables lead. Um, probably something powered. That's my educated guess. Hey, we found her. There she is. Vanessa. Vanessa's pretty hot. Good job, Lucy. What's going on? She was an apparition. Let's follow the cables. Uh. Oh, do we light the candles here? These things. What is that? Why are these? pictures even in here this place is creeping me out it's just kids i mean it looks like crappy graffiti right uh a rosary hope god can help me too mm, it's a horror game so probably not you spared me when i saw you all those years ago i can only hope you'll do the same now so we can assume vanessa didn't send these notes I bet Vanessa's really mad that you took her all the way to uh, the Philippines. She's probably thinking she should have just stayed home. Great reason to never leave the house. This right here. I'm just kind of walking around every. Okay, here's the cables. All workers must wear hard hats. Is that so? One headlight per employee only. Well, what happens if your headlight breaks? You don't have a spare? That seems unsafe. What are lockers? Oh, right, for the miners. Yeah, the miners have lockers, of course. This one needs fuel, too. Hmm. No, pick up the batteries. Yes, I am aware, Lucy. Thank you. Okay, so we're at this one up here. So there's only two generators. I got it, I got it. And this is blocked, so we're gonna have to clear the blockage. Maybe Vanessa's back there, you know? Could be the case. Fuck. What was that? Let's keep going back this way. Where are you, Mononongal? Cassette player. There's still a cassette in here. It needs batteries to run, though. Play the tape. How do you turn it off? That was a mistake. I thought it was gonna be, like, an audio log by one of the miners. Where does this go? Okay, we found another note. 
I see the creature more often now. It always appears in the corner of my eye, and I hear it when the machines go quiet. I think it's calling to me. I can't remember the last time I was able to work in peace. Whenever I try to, I fear that it will sneak up on me. I don't dare to disrespect it. My Lola always said that if these things can't be avoided, they need to be appeased. I hope I've done enough. What did you do? Hmm. Don't you dare diss it, though. The disrespect. What? Oh, no. I, I don't think I... I didn't mean to go back here. Okay, thank you. A student project oh, has safeguards that allow you to not get stuck. Isn't that interesting? A lot of bigger projects don't have Maybe things like that. Up through here, if it still works. Oh, this is the elevator. Oh, cool. Um, I'm gonna reload the batteries because I'm out. Also, just for fun. Can I? Okay, wait. I gotta go through the other the other side. Oh no. <laughs> I was about to say right after I compliment this student project. Please don't make me regret it. Let's light this. Did this happen here? None of this makes any sense. So the miners worshipped them on an angal. What's this? Essential oils? Seems to be a vial of some sort. It says essential oil, Lucy. Come on. Carabao? Carabao? Uh, you can find these in most markets. We have one in our apartment. You have, a, you have a market in your apartment? Really? That's cool, I guess. Oh, I found more batteries. Okay. We need to find more fuel. That's the big thing. Oh, hi! And... It doesn't work. The power doesn't work right. Great. Because there's no... Yeah, we gotta get both of the generators going. Ah, aha! Let's do this. I need to find... Oh, thank you. I'm swimming in batteries, dude. I've got them everywhere. We... Oh, wow, there's more! I've got so many. We can stay down here forever. Let's not, though. Caution, falling rocks. Okay, so I lit this. Let me see. Does this have a... No, it doesn't have a map. Okay, I think I keep going this way then. Or right, let's go back here. Oh no! It crashed! I couldn't keep quiet about it anymore. The others deserve to know. I've seen it multiple times in this mine now. Closer and closer each time. My coworkers need to know to be careful and to stay in the light. Joshua didn't want to believe me at first. He's young. He didn't grow up with the stories like the rest of us did. But he's seen it too. Said so it almost got to him yesterday. Now that even Joshua has seen it, I know for certain that my eyes aren't yet deceiving me. Well, I'm in the light. So. Don't even think about it, Mananangal. Can I go through here? Is it actually patrolling? Because if so, that's pretty cool, but... 1998. Mangubat Mining Company. That's a tip-off if I've ever seen one. Red flag. Don't work with these people. It's almost like they want the man bat to appear. Due to the health hazards of overexposure to manganese, all workers must wear safety masks during mining. I don't want any trouble with Mr. Mangubat, but if you don't want to lose your jobs... Oh, and you don't want to lose your jobs. This is non-negotiable. Overseer uh, Mark Jacinto. Jacinto. Okay, so here's the uh, second generator. Finally found it. Can you please pick up... Thank you. Okay. So we need to find the last fuel canister, which I haven't found yet. 
Attention all workers. I'm aware of the reason why this month's quota hasn't been filled. I understand your concerns, but what you should be worried about is keeping your jobs. We have done what we can to prevent anything from happening, and it seems to have been working. What matters now is that we produce results. If you're not up to the task, you have no, we have no use for you at this company. Overseer Mark Jacinto. Wow. Mark's kind of a dick. Oh my god. Found it. It was there the whole time. I was running around looking for it like an idiot. Uh, now I gotta take it back to the generator. So this will take a while. What do you guys want to talk about while we're doing this? I don't know. I don't have any topics. Why is it up to me to break up the topics? Okay. It's this way, right? We got to stay in the light so the Mananangal does not shred us. I think we can make it there. I think we can do it. It's over here, isn't it? <gasps> it's right there. Go, go, go. And then we go to the elevator. Come on. Oh, you're not this weak. Please. Oh. Okay, now we go to the elevator. Let's do this. Vanessa, if you can hear me, go to the elevator. What was that? What oh. was that? It's red over there. Red means scary, guys. Why did you wait to press the button? Where's Vanessa? Wait, is Vanessa the monster? I mean, that was pretty cool. It's a student project, but ah, the ending makes me want more. There's no resolution to the conflict that's being repeated throughout the entire game experience. I'm like, Vanessa, where are you? Vanessa, you were an idiot and got yourself locked in this dumb cave, apparently. Or we were having visions of Vanessa. Maybe we were just having visions of her. Maybe she wasn't actually down there. Because that would have been awfully convenient. Yeah, a little iffy on the story, but whatever. Student project. For a student project, pretty cool. like the animations on the Mananangal thing at the end. That was neat. A neat little monster. And, uh... Yeah. I mean, the fact that you see so many indie horror games have their monsters just kind of PNG jump scare you and then you're dead or they T-pose spawn right in front of you. I think it's cool that this thing had a little cutscene where it had animations. I liked that. So, um, yeah, it's, it's not bad, but I mean, it's a short student project horror game. I'm not sure what they could do here to expand it into a full product, if you will, if it even has that potential. I think what it currently is is fine. You know, but uh, yeah, glad I played it. I don't have much else to say Except that I wish the story had an actual resolution or maybe I don't know Maybe like Vanessa had a favorite bracelet or something. They could just make a couple tweaks and Then like you see the Mananan gall with the bracelet at the end when it's you know clawing the elevator and you see the bracelet or something. I don't know. Just something like that would have been good. Maybe there's something like that already in the game. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was Tangal. Tangal. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.